Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you for allowing me to sit in on this committee, and I thank the witness for being here today. Uh, Ms. Richards, on September the 18th of this year, you stated that H.R. 3134, the Defund Planned Parenthood Act of 2015, would, and I quote, block access for folks who deserve high-quality, compassionate care, close quote. Now, um, Ms. Richards, I would like an opportunity for you, as I ask you these questions, um, to give you an opportunity to change these false claims. So I wrote the Defund Planned Parenthood Act of 2015, so let me tell you what it does do. It does not, it does not reduce public health funding by a single dime, and it would, in fact, increase that funding for community health centers by $235 million. Were you aware of these facts when you made that statement? Congressman, woman, uh, we've discussed uh, many times today that, in fact, um, the Congressional Budget Office estimated that now, if women were denied the ability to re go to Planned Parenthood, 390... Re reclaiming my time, you oh, said it would block access. It would block access. Now, um, for our patients, yes it would or block no, Ms. Richards, do you acknowledge that community health centers outnumber Planned Parenthood clinics by roughly 20 to 1? I don't know the exact number. I know there's more community health centers than there are Planned Parenthood. So you will acknowledge that they outnumber Planned Parenthood clinics? I'm happy to acknowledge that. Okay. And yes or no, Ms. Richards, do you acknowledge that these facilities funded under my bill provide a broad these facilities actually provide a broader range of services than what is offered at Planned Parenthood, for instance, mammograms? I'm not an expert on what all community health centers provide. I know we work in close collaboration with them, and in fact, often they send us their patients that they can't see for birth control. But you, you will acknowledge that you do not provide mammograms, which was acknowledged in this committee today. We've never, we've never made any... any so uh, that would say that they do actually provide more extensive services than what you provide there at Planned Parenthood. I don't know. So, what I said to you, though, is I don't know what all the community health centers provide. Um, we're very clear about what we do provide at Planned Parenthood and about the number of women who voluntarily choose, choose to come so to us because of our care. Reclaiming again, because I have just a very short period of time. So knowing that the House passed bill actually increases public health funding and redirects those federal dollars to clinics that offer more preventative health care than Planned Parenthood, you can't substantiate your claim that the bill blocks access to care. It does not block access to care. Now, I do want to just end this I by think we saying disagree. that you had a statement that you made that quality, affordable health care is your entire mission. And you made that statement. I actually wrote it down when you made it. Why would you not make an executive decision then to temporarily discontinue your abortion services, which only represents, by your testimony, 3% of the services that you provide, and continue providing what you consider to be your entire mission of 97% of the services provided? Well, because abortion is a legal service in America, but and we think it's important that women, do, you, you quoted me as saying quality, affordable health care, and that includes access to quality and affordable abortion services as well. But, but you, you acknowledge that, do you say abortion is health care? Do you consider that Yes, it's a health care service for women. In fact, three in ten women in the have accessed an abortion So you define health care, abortion as health care? It absolutely is part of women's health care, and women will tell, I think women would agree. Well, if I'm a nurse, and if you look at medicine, abortion is not health care. It is not considered to be health care. Now, let me turn we to one other thing. We just agree to disagree on this you matter. Continue. Well, let's look at the definition, but let me, let me just finish up here, because you have continued to say that these um, videos were doctored, um, are you aware of a report that just came out today that has been released uh, by Coal Fire that shows in their report, um, and they say the forensic analysis removes any doubt that the full-length undercover videos released by the Center for Medical Progress are authentic and have not been manipulated. Analysis scrutinized every second of the video re re recorded during the investigation and released CMP to a date and found only bathroom breaks and other non-pertinent footage had been removed. 
Um, I would say if you were to compare the two companies now that have done this um, investigation, you see Coal Fire um, has reported on every second of those released audio and video investigation footage, as opposed to uh, the Fusion Report, which only had four full-length videos. So I think this discussion, Mr. Chairman, is still yet to be had about just what these videos do show and the fact that they perhaps um, coming from fusion are not doctored. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.